Hey everyone, this is part two of the CES South Hall tour, or a, a part of it. So come with. <laughs> what you got there? This bag, you can put your stuff in. Oh, I got a bag on my back. You got a bag on your back. Yeah, okay. Alibaba. All right. All right. Thanks. <laughs> City. The next generation of wireless power. Let's take a look. So the wireless power. It says it uh, offers extended wireless range. Using passive resonated resonant re repeaters. Let's see, I can find somebody. Hey, could you tell my viewers about Whitricity? Let me get somebody that can tell you. He's going to get somebody that's that can tell us about Whitricity. So follow me, folks. As I go in a circle here, uh, uh, go around. Yeah. I guess this man could do it. Let's hope so. I'm Zenny Abram, Zenny62.com. Can you tell my viewers about Whitricity? Whitricity is a Massachusetts-based uh, company. Uh, we provide wireless electricity. Over what distance? So if I have this iPhone, how would it help me and my viewers to get power wirelessly? We provide the wireless power over what we call near-field ranges. So the idea is that we uh, wirelessly charge your phone when it's uh, on the surfaces of different areas. If you're in a car, if you're sitting at a coffee table, you put your phone, uh, it starts seamlessly charging. Oh, do you have a demonstration, something I can see? Yes, of course. Let's, let me show you what the concept is. This is cool, folks. Hold on a second. <laughs> follow this man. Yeah, follow me. Follow me. Let me show you what we have here. Holy cow. All right, so this is a demonstration. This is a product that does nothing but shows everything. That's the product. I like that. Does nothing but shows everything. But shows everything. So yeah. this is a demonstration of our technology, and then after that, I can take you to different areas to show you the sure. actual application. So the concept is around what we call magnetic resonance. We create a magnetic field around a device we call a source. So this is our source, our transmitter. And that magnetic field is oscillating at a certain frequency. If we design a device, a receiver, with a resonator inside it, we have a magnetic resonator that oscillates at the same frequency as the source mm -hmm. and bring it into the field magically. Ah. You're gonna see power. You see that lighting up the hooks. Yeah. Power, yeah. You can see it light up anywhere in the field. You can move it around, flexible orientation. Huh. It doesn't have to be aligned. Whoa, look at that, folks. Okay. That's so I'm gonna show you something very cool here. It's very safe. <laughs> okay. Hey, his brain didn't explode. Yeah. And my hair didn't grow. <laughs> Wait a minute. <laughs> Wait a minute. <laughs> you can bring multiple devices into the field. We charge over surfaces. Here's a tile. Here's a drywall. It's charged fine. And here's a part, the biggest part of the magic. The magnetic field, we don't radiate out. We don't radiate any energy out, so it's very safe. But the problem is that when you come out of the field, you stop charging, right? Because you could go over something. Well, that's why I, there's actually a blue orb around there. If you can't make that out in the video, just just let you know. This is a passive repeater. It's a device that is designed to oscillate at the same frequency as this guy, uh -huh. and it's just some coils and some capacitors inside here. No, no other intelligence, okay? And all it is. Now, if I bring my repeater uh -huh. into the field, it repeats the magnetic field in the air. And I can extend ah, I get it. my it's, power transmission. It's just extending the power transmission. Exactly. How far? Depends on how many repeaters you bring in. Uh, we have a demonstration over there showing a room of the future that we have embedded the repeaters inside carpeting and we can transfer the energy across the room. It's almost the same principle as the technology that you use used to move people movers. You know, you have a magnet transfer, magnet transfer, but it is Almost, not quite. I'm not very familiar with that, but... Induction. Uh, so this is not induction. We call this magnetic resonance because in induction, you have to be in cl uh, uh, close proximity ah, right. of the right. coils. The coils have to align uh -huh. exactly. 
Induction has been around for 120 years. Michael Faraday invented it, right? Right. But the thing is, the coils have to be exactly aligned before it works. Yes. The magic that we have here, and it was invented in MIT back in 2007, is that you can bring it in and move it around. Whoa. So what's, what's the principle? It's, it's called magnetic resonance. Yeah. We are creating a magnetic field and we are resonating that field at a certain frequency. Yeah. Right. So there's a coil inside here. And we have some circuitry hey, oscillating the field. I'm going to upload this video. Tell my viewers what the website is. I do number two. So I'm going to upload this one right now. Go to www.whytricity.com. Whytricity is wireless electricity. And we are going to do what Wi Fi did to networking. We're going to do it to electricity. Stay tuned for part two. All right.